In today's video I want to show you how to install Genome on Arc Linux in a peer root environment. We are going to see how is the process and also the problems that I found. Remember that you can try to run this desktop with hardware acceleration with the video I leave in the description. But first, let's take a look to the sponsor of this video, Kissfan. In this page you can buy software keys for Windows, Office or any program that you would like. And now they are having some special offer on Windows keys and also Microsoft Office keys. So you can buy them for half of the price. So don't forget to apply the discount codes that appears in the screen in the shopping cart JD50 and JD62. And remember that these types of keys are totally legal and if you have any problem, you can contact with Keyfans support team. And thanks Keyfans for sponsoring this video. Now let's continue with the installation of Arc Linux. As always, the first thing to do is take a look at my repository where we have all the steps that we are going to follow. You can go to the Pyroot section and click on Arc Linux. Here you will see other things that you can do like installing KDE but in this case we are going to follow the instructions for Genome. But before everything we need to start with the first steps. We are going to this section on my repository and you can copy all these commands at the same time. Now we are going to open the Termux app and we are going to paste all the commands. Just enter to execute everything and when the process finishes we are going to follow the installation of Arc Linux. These commands are going to install Arc Linux on a peer of the environment and we are going to log in into that. When we are logging, we can see that we see root at localhost, so we are inside the peer root environment and we are going to update the repositories. As always, the first thing to do is this, update the repositories in a new distro. During the process, you will see this message, just hit enter and here just type Y. After that, the process will start and once it finishes, we can continue with the steps from my repository. Now we can continue with the steps for Genome, so let's start with it. The first thing to do is going to install all the packages that we need, so just copy this line and paste it into the terminal in Termux. This will install all the packages and it's going to take a while, but after the process finishes, we can continue with the next steps. Now we need to enter a new command just to avoid some errors in Genome. So let's copy this and execute it. If you don't execute this command, you are not going to be able to start Genome. So this is very important. After the process finishes, you can see that there is a message but everything is fine. We can continue with the creation of a new user. In my case, I will create a new user called Droidmaster, but you can change with the name you want. And now we are going to set the password for that user. Just type the password two times and the password will be set. Now we only need to give that user pseudo permissions to be able to run the start script. So let's edit this file, etc sudo errors, but this time I found an error and I forgot to install sudo. So we are going to execute this command pacman sy sudo. I will leave these packages already in the first command that we use to install all the packages so you won't have this error. But in case you find this error in any other distro, this is how you fix. You need to install sudo. So now we are going to add this line into the etc sudo file so we can execute command as root when we are inside the Druidmaster user. Ctrl O and Ctrl X to save an exit. And now we can run the start script. You will find other instructions here, but we are going to take a look later to them. And for now, we need to check that everything is fine. So we can change to the user Droid Master. And with the command who am I, we can verify that we can execute command as root. So now we are going to exit the peer root environment. We are in Termux. This is Termux native. And we can copy and paste the command to download the start script. So just go to this part of the repository, copy the command and paste it here. Click enter and we need to give execution permissions to that file with the command chmod plus x and the name of the file that we have just downloaded. Execute it with dot slash and the name of the script. And now Termux X11 will be open. Genome seems to work fine, but the first time I opened the environment, I got this glitch and the background looks a bit weird. But don't worry, because to fix this, we just need to restart the environment. You can see that if we open the menu, the glitch is still here. So we are going to close Termux X11, Ctrl C in Termux to stop everything, 
and we are going to run again the start script. After this, you can see that everything is fine. You can open the menu and you can open the applications and everything looks fine. So now I want to show you how to install a couple of applications like Chromium and also how to customize this a little bit, although I will show you some errors that I found. So we are going to need a terminal. You can use one of the two that we have installed. And for the customization part, we are going to use the application called Twix. But I will show you later how we can use it. So we can try to change the themes for the different applications. But now let's see how to install the Chromium browser. So in the terminal, you just need to write the command pacman sy chromium with the sudo before everything and type y when you see the message to confirm. So after that, we can execute the Chromium browser, but remember that in the peer root environments, in all of them, we need to execute it with the no sandbox tags. If not, the browser is not going to open. You can see that we have internet connection and the browser is working fine. So let's open my repository again from the peer root environment. We are going again to the Arc Linux part and we are going to continue with the steps for Genome. So we follow all the steps and we are now in the customization part. The first command is for searching all the GTK themes that we can install on peer root and also the same for the icon themes. So open a new terminal and execute the command that you are seeing right now. With this command, we can see a list of all the different themes that we can install so we can apply them from the Twix application that we saw earlier. So you can see all the themes that are available. You can look for them on the internet if you want to see how they look. And to install any of this, you can write the command pacman sy and the name of the theme. In this case, I'm going to install the last one, the one that is called pop. Also, a bit later in the video, I will show you how to download a theme from the internet so we can install the themes that we want. Although I'm not sure why the themes seems to not apply properly to the applications. You can see that to select the theme, we need to restart the Twix application. But before, we need to enable the user themes here in the extension application. Just go down and you see user themes, enable it, and now we can open Twix and select the theme that we have just installed. But as I said, I'm not sure why, probably if you know, you can leave it in the comments. When I apply a theme here, the only thing that changes are the accent colors. If you deploy, for example, the calendar, the accent colors changes. You can see that the blue now is a bit darker, but I'm not sure why the rest of the applications are not affected by these themes. But we are going to install at least some icon themes that this apply to all the icons that you can see in the applications menu. So in this case, as before, you can check all the lists that are available from the repository. And I'm going to install the one that is called Papyrus. In my case, the installation of this icon theme took a while, like around 10 minutes or so. And again, to apply the icon theme that we have just installed, we need to open the Twix application. Go to the Appearance tab and select the icon themes that we have just installed. In this case, all the icons in the application menu changes to the correct one. So I'm not sure why the icon themes works perfectly, but the other themes doesn't apply to the applications. Now I will show you that we can change a little bit the aspect of the theme by just going to this page. We are going to order by rating and I'm going to select the Orchis theme. This will change a little bit the top bar where we can see the calendar and the clock, but it doesn't apply again to the other applications like the Twix application or the File Explorer. So please, if you have any more information, leave it in the comments and I will take a look. When we download the icon theme, we can open a terminal in the same folder and we need to uncompress the file. To uncompress the file, we need to type the command tar with the task that you are going to see right now and wait until the process finishes. After this, you can remove the compressed file with the command rm and the name of the file and we need to move all the folders to the themes folder. For this, we are going to create the .themes folder in the home directory of our user with the command that you are seeing right now in the terminal. After this, we can move all the folders inside the download folder to the .themes one with the command that you saw. 
Now, if we open again the Twix application, we can see that we have all the themes here. And the top bar, as I said, has changed a little bit. And also the accent color now is purple instead of blue. But the file explorer and other applications doesn't change. Like you are seeing right now here, everything is white and I'm not able to change the theme. Also, you can enable the dark mode from this menu where you can find the toggle for the sound. You can change to dark mode, but this doesn't affect again to the applications like the file manager that continues being just white. So I hope that you like the video. If you want to see any other distro with any other desktop, leave it in the comments and please don't forget to share, like and subscribe.